one reader says that she thinks that Canadian literature is most often associated with realism rather than magical realism. And the truth is, I don't think of what I write as magical realism. I think of it as mythical realism. And it might seem like a small difference. But the reader says, and she's right, magical realism is really often South America, Central America, or even Central Europe. But not necessarily North America. And I think the difference is that what I'm trying to do is to write about our own myths, the myths of North America, as opposed to taking those traditions of Central and South America and bringing them here and putting them on top of what we have. Because when you do that, it kind of shows through. And I wanted to create something new and different. And I was really interested in the ways that myths work in North America and Canada. And one of the things that's really important to remember about Canada and about America is how big it is. Canada is huge. It's just an incredibly large place. And one of the things that's exciting about that, and one of the reasons why myths can be such a big part of that, is that there's the idea that there are still spaces we don't know, spaces we don't understand, and things out there that maybe we don't know about. Now, that being said, I do also write pretty realistic fiction at times. But Touch and the book I'm working on now have some of these questions of what's real, what's story, and what's in between.